go check it out at least you know I found that point this morning with that Toyota truck and this is the fourth place I've been on after and have a little bit of flint in my pocket I might show you the clips I'll grab a couple of them here but I got a dinosaur or a plastic one right there it could be vintage even there's the flakes I found I haven't been doing too hot there's no place to really sift but I got something cool here um it's a dinosaur and it looks old to me his heads um it says oh it it, it is it's play school I don't know if it says night I think it says 1963 but it might be 1983 I'll have to look at it when we get home but that's kind of cool one of the feet are missing but I can display it like that I keep all this cool stuff I find on the river that's cool I'd say it's old by looking at the painting style on it I'd say it's 63 but I or 68 I can't tell might be 80s I don't know later There's an old Mason, it says Mason S patent. That's an old one, that's a pre-1900 one. It's a shame it's broke. Later. Now, before I flip this out, I thought I better film it. It looks like black flint, let's see. Oh man, this is a big core. This is kind of actually kind of cool. It's a big black river pebble core. No, nobody's been here either if that's laying out. Look at that. That's a big spalled up open river pebble. They've taken all kinds of chips off that. Look, you can see where they just even popped them off there with like a stone or a bobber. Later. All right, well, you can see this is like the fifth place I've been on today. I was trying to beat the rain and look a bunch of spots. Um, found that point this morning in the truck, but I'm just getting hammered with rain. I'm completely drenched. Got. 600 yards to get back to my vehicle wow but i found a tip off one here i didn't film it broken drill and some flakes that's it all junk later there's a mirror off something um but anyway i'm at the dump found that point in that john deere truck yesterday morning went home took a little break and went back out and walked like five more places i got some footage but i didn't find nothing else a few flakes and but i got some footage of some animals and stuff oh look here folks it rained real hard last night and i thought i'd come up and surface hunt this surface find live finding it's a metal truck and it's the body's good and it's all metal let me get this all right and that's old look it's probably like the period like the style of this truck 40s probably 50s that's cool and i have wheels to fit this look the old metal axles awesome find later I guess I turned that off. I guess we can uh, look a little bit here. If that was laying out, there might be something else washed out. I had the hopes of finding a few things quick because I sure as heck didn't find nothing on my hunts the rest of the day yesterday. There's a seven up, but uh, the graphics are, I probably found that one. I leave and actually I wouldn't have took that one, but a couple things I've left up here um the peanut butter bottle i left that the one with the elephant on it and i had to come back and find it that was a pain in the butt let's see here if we see anything there's a big whiskey but i would have already found that and what i might start taking some of these because if you think about this stuff this is an old bottle i have the caps for it how hard would it be to print off a vintage label and glue it on there and make that bottle look phenomenal i'm gonna do it 
it'll be cool oh look here plastic figure laying out and i think i have the girl to that it's probably to a girl's dollhouse the woman i think i have the mom there's probably kids in here and the playset probably All right, I got a nice pop bottle sticking out here, and look, there's vintage Halloween. That's a shame that's broke. This looks like it might be pretty nice. It's an old Magic Valley Sistersville. Later. All right, I'm popping out. Looks to be silver, maybe. Um, it's an old one. It's deep. Um, let me see here. Can't tell. I'd say it's at least silver plate. We'll get it cleaned up when I get hands. Um, I've also been digging some pretty nice old lids in here for my. This one says Atlas on, and they all have it and are perfect. I'll put them on the masons I found. But I'm doing all right again. There's another probably silver spoon later. Yeah, it's too bad on this melon-shaped wine bottle. Holy crap. You know, wow. Would have been awesome. Man. Hopefully I can find something like that today. Later. All right, I did a little rake in, and now here's a gear out of something, but I, I have another surface find. Man, look at this glass. That's like a teal color, but I got a nice army, man, a vintage one laying out, and I don't have this one. It's like these other ones. Look right here, fakes. Oh, it's all there. Check it out. Another dude like crawling under barbed wire. I'd say that's probably Mark's, but I'm not sure. 50s or 60s. Awesome find. Later. This is a cool find. I like these little ink wells, and that's what that is. And it's, let me see if I can. Oh, it's inks. It says Brooklyn, New York. So this is a nice bottle. I love it. Little inker. Later. All right, here's another Suncrest Cola. Just got this. I'm not doing bad. I like that little ink bottle, but you can see back in here. There's stuff to look at all over the place. It's hard to tell what's going to pop out of here. Most of it's junk, eh? This is hard work. I probably wouldn't be doing it here unless I could make money off the video. Um, you don't understand how long I've spent up here. Later. It, this is a cool bottle. It has a real thin cork top on it and it says claps, four ounces, and has some kind of medicine or something, but that's cool. I'm taking it. I'll put a cork in that and that'll look cool. Later. Here's an old embossed paint whiskey. It's screw top, but I have a screw top for it. And I'm gonna print out a label and put on this, a vintage looking label. It's, I like that embossing, and it's even embossed air. Think with a nice cap on that, with a new label with like an Indian or an eagle on it, I'll make this look awesome. We'll work on it tonight, maybe. Later. Here's an old Coors Ginger Ale bottle parkersburg west virginia but the, that's a shame the labels reached out i would have liked to have had that bottle it's uh 
1958. Well, that would have been cool. There's the graphic. I'm not taking this one. It's too raged out. Later. Here's like a early stir. And people really drank a lot in the 50s and 60s, believe me. Um, this is probably for a, a drink stir. Not sure, but I would say, and I'm going to take it. It's a cool vintage one. I'm going to clean it up and I'll show you pictures. I have a glass or something. I found some whiskey glasses here. I'll stick it in one in my cabinet along with the other ones I find. Later. All right. Um, taking a little break here and just kind of eyeballing this stuff around me. But I got another one of these wee little bottles. I found one of these before. I like that little one. They look all good setting in something. I'm going to take that later. Another broken insulator, but I just got a pepper shaker. It's got a reister painted on it. It's cheap like an old jug. It's kind of cool. Later. A big show, eh? Take that with us. Later. Oh, I, I got a. It looks like maybe a coke right there. I can't tell, but I got a marble. Let's pull this out too. All right, Sistersville. Look how nice that one is. All right. Man, that was a good haul right there. Right together. I'll do some more looking. Hopefully I can get some more stuff. I can't stay as long today, but say this video finds will be shorter because I got to go get my little dog. Later. Right, I'm in a good little pocket here. There's stuff backed up behind this root and look here. There's a spoon or a fork Oh, it's a big honker of a Um the way that's yeah, look that's silver plate or silver. It's just real tarnished. I'll get it cleaned up That's a good find. That's a big spoon later All right, I can't even complain for the day. I just got another nice marble. Got some pretty cool stuff, man. Look at that. Gold clear base with white wisps. Looks like it's got a copper line to it. Wow, that's pretty nice. Later. All right, you know, this is a 1950s bottle, and I know it's not as old as, you know, pre-1900, back into the 1880s and stuff, but I like this bottle. And when they're coming out of the ground with graphics, I saw this roll out. It looks awesome. This is probably like a local bottle. We'll have a local bottle. Yep, Morgantown, West Virginia. Beautiful bottle, another one. And I think I only have one of these. Now I got two. Heck yeah, folks, I'm satisfied. I love this bottle. Let's look at the bottom and see if I can't. 1956, Morgantown, West Virginia, knee high. They sure as heck ain't making that no more. Nice find, later. All right, I found a, a little cobalt blue plate. And look at that. You can't, you gotta hold this stuff up to the light because look at that in a window. And it's old, it's vintage, so I'm taking that. That's a good find. Later. Here's an old beer plastic advertising. Um, it says something the it's not a well-known brewing company. Let me right see here. The, oh, it is. The Strobe Beer Brewing Company, Detroit. America's only fine brewed beer. It's a plastic label. We're taking that. Later. All 
All right, here's a magic valley, and it's nice. It's worth taking. Later. I'm still here. Um, I'm still finding stuff consistently. Nothing spectacular, but there's another marble, and it's pretty nice. It's a unique color cat eye. Later. You guys might not recognize this as a Coke, but it says Coca-Cola right here on the bottom. I'll show you pictures. And it says Sistersville, West Virginia, W.VA right here along the bottom. It's a clear bottle, but these, I've only found one other one. Now I got two, and it's an old Sistersville Coke. This is the second one for today. I got a different style last time. I'll show them both later. All right, I'm walking back to my car. That's all I got up to dump. Not a bad day. I'll get the stuff cleaned up and that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I thought I'd come over and see my old buddies over here. Hi, buddy. You got flies on you today. You can sniff me first. Don't be biting me or nothing. I see you. You can sniff me. I see you. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get you too. I see you. You want to sniff me first? You want to sniff me first, dear bubs? There you go. Sniff me up. Smell my dog on me? Huh? Better watch, I don't want a horse bite. You getting frisky? Oh, good. Come on. Come on over here, let me pet you. You gonna sniff me again? Oh yeah, there we go. You're nice. You're nice, I see you, you're nice. You're nice. See ya. You're a nice, you're nice. I see ya. You're nice, huh? You're nice, aren't ya? Oh, yeah. Well, I can't stay here and pet you forever, and you stink pretty bad, too. Now I smell like manure. manure. My hands smell bad now. Look what you did. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? You're huge. You're seven foot tall, pal. I see you. Don't be getting aggressive with me. You're huge, buddy. Man, that's a big horse. My God. Things, I'm 6'3", and I got on boots. So I'm like 6'5", with these boots on. And that thing was way taller than me. And we're on level ground. Look at that guy. 
here comes another beast. This one's the head's close to uh, six eight right now, probably. A bud, you wanna sniff me? You got flies all over you. You stink real bad too. You smell bad. I see you. You gonna sniff me, or you gonna get aggressive? I see you. I see you, buddy. I see you. I'm coming back to get you, pet you some more. I see you. And these are big horses. Well, anyway, later.